Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some lip balms that I've really been loving this year. And you know, with the holidays coming up, I happen to think that lip balms are a fantastic stocking stuffer. So I thought now would be a good time to share these with you all. The first is a great value. It's the Blistex Simple and Sensitive. This is a super moisturizing lip balm. It's free of fragrance, dyes, um, colorants, flavorants, very short ingredient list. It is colorless and clear. It's got, it's got cocoa butter in it and it really, it really helps reduce chapped lips. And the other nice thing is, of course, it's a stick, which I think all of these are. Um, so you don't have to put your finger into a pot and touch your face. That is really the goal now, is to minimize having to touch your face. Obviously with uh, everything that's going on, we're trying to reduce the transmission of germs. And so I like that this is in a stick. As a side note, don't share your lip products with friends. Uh, you can transfer a lot of germs that way. So that's a really, really good one. And then the other one is uh, just Vaseline. I've talked about using just Vaseline. Vaseline is petroleum jelly or petrolatum, all the same thing. Um, and it's the best ingredient for reducing trans epidermal water loss. I mean, it really puts the, the brakes on water loss out of the skin, including the skin of the lips. I find that it's a fantastic lip balm. And Vaseline makes this little, um, lip balm version of it. I mean, it's just petrolatum, but the tube is really what you're paying for. The packaging is, you know, so that you don't have to dip your finger in. So it comes, it's kind of a dome applicator. My lips are going to be real shiny at the end of this video. <laughs> The petrolatum, because it's so good at reducing transepidermal water loss, I think this is a really good thing to put on your lips before you go to bed at night. Because remember, as I've said in other videos, you lose more water out of the skin at nighttime. Uh, your skin is healing and repairing and all of that jazz. And petrolatum can really put the brakes on that water loss. And that ultimately will have you waking up in the morning without having to worry about your lips being dry. <laughs> Uh, does anybody else have that issue where you wake up with dry chap lips? I know I do. Um, and so that can really help. Speaking of dry chap lips, I mentioned this in uh, a recent video on the top 10 products from Avan, but this product is great for healing cracked lips. It's their Secalphate uh, Restorative Lip, Lip Cream. This product has uh, sucralfate in it, which is actually used to treat um, uh, ulcers in the gut and we have studies showing that applying it topically to ulcers on the skin can facilitate healing. Having something on there that facilitates healing is ideal for repairing those painful cracks that can happen especially in the winter when the humidity drops you lose more moisture out of your lips. If you lick your lips a lot that definitely can cause what's called a lip lickers dermatitis pulls a lot of water out of the lips with evaporating that saliva off the surface and then it feels dry, you lick again. I mean, it can set you up for a lot of problems. Plus saliva is an irritant on the skin. So if you find yourself in about a really uh, painful, cracked, chapped lips, definitely give this a try. It is expensive, but it will really help in remedying that situation. Now, I don't use this as my everyday lip balm. I just use it if I kind of get out of hand with um, certain foods really give me chapped lips and beverages. And you guys know I'm always drinking beverages. Uh, certain foods like citrus fruits in particular will really give me about a, basically irritant chelitis. And so I'll go to this and it really helps with healing that. But because it's expensive, I don't really use it on an everyday basis. The other nice thing about this, speaking of beverages, is it's like, kind of almost like water resistant. It goes on. Oops. <laughs> like a thick paste. Oh, it feels really good. It goes on white. I mean, it does dry down and, you know, kind of fade into the natural color of your lips, but it really stays in place. It really makes a nice watertight seal and it doesn't melt with heat. Um, it really has good last stability. <laughs> it, 
It's long lasting without being drying, obviously. So it's very healing and I highly recommend it if you are in a bout of of really painful dry cracked lips can really help with healing. You guys know, I mean, I mentioned this in pretty much all of my lip dedicated videos. I'm a huge fan of the Vanny Cream Lip SPF 30 water resistant lip sunscreen. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't have it here today because I'm trying to share with you guys some different ones. A viewer sent this to me recently and I gotta say, it is, it has quickly become, I mean, it's what I'm using currently as my lip SPF and I love it. It's by Sun Balm. It's their SPF 30 zinc lip sunscreen. So the active sunscreen ingredient is just zinc. Now zinc is a great ingredient as a sunscreen, but it can be kind of drying. This product, however, like the Vanny Cream product, is super moisturizing for the lips. So they really balanced it out well. Like the Vanny Cream product, it's water resistant. The main difference is that the Vanny Cream product comes in a tube and you squeeze it out and put it on, whereas this is in a stick. But this product, long story short, it it fades, it doesn't leave the same degree of a cast that the Vanny Cream one does. This goes on much more sheer. So definitely check this out if you were put off by that little bit of a cast that the Vanny Cream one leaves. This is much better. It's not as casty at all. I mean, it goes on white, but not a harsh, harsh white. Highly recommend it. And I'll also link the Vanny Cream one down below. Both are great stocking stuffers. Wearing sunscreen on your lips is so, so important, you guys. Skin cancers on the lip are really common, and you can put your regular sunscreen on your lips, that's fine, but in my experience, a lot of regular sunscreens, you put them on the lips and they burn or they're too drying. That's just my personal experience. I like something that is going to be moisturizing and comfortable to wear, and I really like water-resistant lip sunscreen formulations too because you know i'm always drinking and talking and things like that um so this one long story short has been a really good one another one i've talked about in other videos so it's not new is the elta md uv lip balm this is a great one it's a combination sunscreen it has zinc in it and it has um, octane oxide a chemical filter which uh, protects against uvb now chemical sunscreens especially on the lips they can be um, drawing and irritating, but this combination sunscreen is actually, I mean, I haven't had that issue. I find it very moisturizing. The cast on this is minimal to none. I mean, it goes on white, but it, it's gonna dry clear. Our, our color, clear and colorless. It's, it's very transparent. Zinc oxide, and this is water resistant up to 80 minutes. So it has good lasting, lasting power. Speaking of lasting. <laughs> All right, I have a product for you guys that I have been using for a while now and I haven't really mentioned, but I love this brand, as you guys know. It is uh, Indeed Labs Hydra Laron Volumizing Lip Treatment. Now, when I first saw this and saw the word volumizing, I was like, oh God, what have they done? Because volumizing, when it comes to lip products, sometimes is synonymous with plumping, which is synonymous with some kind of irritant that they put in there to, to cause swelling. Um, but that's not what this is. This is just a very hydrating formulation. It has hyaluronic acid, shea butter, it has some peptides for hydration and, and repair. This, here's the applicator. This goes on really <clears throat> now, when it talks about this being volumizing, a big reason for that, I think, is merely due to the viscosity of this. It's so thick and it stays on so well that it really does plump things up. But it's a light scattering thing. Yeah, I really like this. Um, and it keeps, it keeps a nice seal on, on the hydration factor. It really does a good job putting the brakes on hydration. It stays in place uh, for a good long while. This brand, Indeed Labs, is a Canadian brand. It's cruelty-free. I don't know if this is vegan or not, but um, what I was gonna say is I read that Indeed Labs is now being sold in boots in the UK. So that's fantastic. For those of you in the UK, if you are you know, interested in this brand, I have some other videos reviewing their products. Love them. So this is a great lip balm, highly recommend. All right, now I'm gonna move into some fun tinted lip balms. Um, this one I first started using, uh, 
can't remember, two years ago, a year and a half ago. It's the Muji UV Lip Color. This particular one is in the shade Rose. I think they have a few other shades. Muji is a Japanese uh, store and they have skincare. And I've reviewed their skincare, several, a lot of their skincare I've reviewed. Um, but this particular lip product uh, is actually, uh, has a very short ingredient list. No fragrance. Fragrance on the lips can be very irritating, by the way. Fragrance or flavorance. If you see like vanilla in or menthol or peppermint, that actually can be pretty irritating on your lips and is a frequent cause of chelitis. This doesn't have that, nor do any of these actually. Um, it does have red dyes, which can be irritating, but you'd be hard pressed to find a red dye free tinted lip product. The exception being the Color Science Tinted Lip Balms. And I thought about bringing those out here, but those are so drying, I don't feel comfortable recommending those. Anyways, this, uh, while it does have the red dye in it, very moisturizing, and it has a little bit of SPF, just 12. I mean, so just a hint. So you're getting a little bit of extra protection. Very moisturizing. Can you see? So it's just a nice sheer tint, tinted gloss. It does stay on pretty well, but as with all tinted lip balms, I find that the color does fade eventually. I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried any of their other shades, but this is just a nice tinted lip balm. I know a lot of people like tinted lip balms. Maybe, you know, your daughter is really into them. This would make a great stocking stuffer. I get these on Yes Style, but you can definitely buy them from the Muji store. And as a matter of fact, if you do want them as a Christmas present, I would suggest doing that instead of Yes Style because Yes Style can take a while to arrive. So just order it from the Muji store. It is based in the US, so you, you should be able to get it much faster than if you go through than if you go through Yes Style. Speaking of Yes Style, this one you do have to get from them or from perhaps another retailer. Maybe you can get it on Amazon, but it's another Japanese lip product. It's the Curel brand uh, Moisture Lip Care Cream. Now this doesn't have, this does not have uh, sunscreen in it, but this is everything you ever loved about chapstick without the flavorance that can cause irritation. This has ceramides in it, which I've talked about before, can help with skin barrier restoration. It also has a uh, licorice root in it, or a derivative of licorice root, like the active kind of uh, component of licorice root, which is anti-inflammatory and can have a skin brightening effect. Um, actually, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get like a little paper towel so I can blot my lips so you guys can see what it looks like. I have my tree up here, but it's completely naked. <laughs> as in not decorated yet, because I haven't gotten my act together. I have all of these like boxes. I mean, it's utter chaos in here right now. Um, I need to get my act together. Anyways, I was gonna show you guys the Curel. Um, this color is just light pink. So I wiped off a lot of what I have on. Very moisturizing. This is really a good product. This and the Muji ones are just some of the nicest tinted lip balms I've ever worn before. Worn before. <laughs> they last a decent amount of time as far as the tint and they're very moisturizing, they're not drying. These are really good. Um, both Japanese, highly recommend uh, if you're in the market for a tinted lip balm. And then speaking of tinted lip balm, the last one is one I um, was sent actually uh, as a PR gift and I actually really like it. Now I will warn you, it has coconut oil in it. Coconut oil causes acne for people. I mean, people will associate that with their acne getting worse all the time. If that is you, then you're gonna need to avoid this. Um, it might you know, cause problems for you, but I have, n I have never had problems using coconut oil products or products that have coconut oil in them. So I just point that out, you know, kind of like pointing out fragrance as a potential problematic ingredient. Um, but I've really liked it and it's the Kopari Lip Balm. Oh, is that upside down? Yeah. The Kopari Lip Balm in the shade Birthday Suit. Uh, in addition to the coconut oil, it has isodotecane. That's probably why I like it. I really like things that have that isodotecane. I find they do a nice job 
uh, sealing in hydration, and it's got shea butter. I'll show you what birthday suit looks like. Here, let me blot. Birthday suit is like a nudie kind of color. I think this one is colorless. Let's see, I haven't opened this one up yet. Yeah, this one is clear and colorless. Yeah, that's nice if you want one that's not tinted. Yeah, even though this has coconut oil, and as I said, that can cause problems for people, I have really, really liked these, or at least the birthday suit one I've been wearing, and this is exactly like the birthday suit, only without any coloration, any, any color in it. So I've really liked those, actually. I think that combination of the isodotecane, the shea butter, and the coconut oil, although, as I said, that can be a problematic ingredient. I find that, I think, I feel like those three things really make this formula very moisturizing and not drying or irritating. Comment below, are you one of those people who can't go anywhere without a ton of lip balms? I am kind of that way. I always have to have a few SPF lip balms, a moisturizing one, and sometimes I like to have a little tinted one. So yeah, they make great stocking stuffers, gifts. They're pretty inexpensive too if you're on a tight budget. Everybody, you know, most people like getting a lip balm and uh, they're useful, practical, especially in the winter time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.